Welcome back to uh, going up the stairs. Yeah, this was the uh, rooftop thing, which I'm pretty sure was empty. Oh, hey, an emergency ladder? Oh. Dang. <laughs> All the emergency stuff in this building is broken. It's not up to code. No. <clears throat> Every door is locked, and... Every emergency exit is locked, and the emergency fire ladder is locked, and <laughs> what's the point of this place? So, okay. Here you go again. Yeah, you may just have to move quickly in there. Like, just, just search the room. Like, you can maybe even, like, hide under a desk here, I don't know. I, nothing was being highlighted, though. Nothing? Uh. Ah, crap. Yep. Nah, I see what you're saying here. So nothing's highlighted. Yeah. Ah, eh, now I'm dead. Well, not necessarily. I can't even... Now you're dead. <laughs> I can't, I can't... Uh-huh. I can't run past him. Yeah, I can see that. I don't know, man. I don't know how this game plays. Yeah. I feel like if it was a full 3D game, you'd have a chance of running past him. But the tappy style doesn't quite seem to work. That's just gonna say it's a table. Can you check the whiteboard? Does the whiteboard say anything of any use? Hmm. No, it doesn't even look like it's interactable. No, none. Alright, well, I guess you may as well get going then if none of this stuff even does anything. <laughs> she might break it if she touches it. Is she that bad with computers? Being quiet. Oh, hey. Tools? Being repaired? No, nothing for you. Well, I want the tools. Stab about, them in the face. How about the other computers? Now that you can sort of see them without being chased. Is it just because you were walking? No, I don't think so. Because you said something about being quiet and the music hasn't changed yet. Hmm. She's not very good at computers. And then I've done this one. Yep. Alright, so yeah, I guess this room is pointless. It's just a dead end for you to get trapped in. At least right now. Maybe later there's something here, but... For right now, it's just a nuisance. Well, I don't know where to go now. Yep. That's... I've exhausted everything. Uh... Can you go back down to the first floor? Okay. Not expecting to get much out of it, but... Oh, shit. Where's he going? Where's he from? Where's he coming from? That's unnerving. Yeah. I was gonna say to the right, instead of the left. Well, I'm gonna go to the left, because I know where I can hide there. Oh, that's true. Hiding is good. You do like to survive. It is preferable. Same place. Your favorite box. He's never gonna learn to check it. Why don't you get in the big, bigger box? I don't know. Maybe that one's full of stuff. Unless he learns. <laughs> I guess not. Nope. He's like boxes. The they must be full. The music isn't gone. I think sometimes it takes a second. Yes, yeah, there it goes. Okay. All right. Well, if this doesn't work, I don't know where to go, man. Yeah. Except just get trapped. Well, I mean, you know, if it's like most games, there's got to be something that's changed since you found some clues. Or there's some place to use the oil can. There's even a ground floor window here. Why can't I just break the window? Isn't that where it came in? 
Also, you have that oil can, but, like, it's it may not ask you, like, where to use it. Oh, hey. Wait, what? Watch out, it's the Scissorman. It's totally the Scissorman. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, he, does, he just doesn't have a head. Does he have a gun? Uh. Da da da! <laughs> well, we found something. He has some very sharp scissors. Yep. So they can cut through the head and keep it on there. Maybe he just carefully stacked it back up afterwards. In the perfect position? You know it, man. <gasps> a key! Okay. Maybe to one of the locked doors? Oh, the oh, ladder, ladder key. key! Maybe you can get down from the rooftop now. That might be what you needed. Oh, that might have been where the guy was sleeping. Maybe. It's a partition. <laughs> it's a chair. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Uh, let's go check on that that ladder. Mm-hmm. That seems like the thing to do. It's a good thing we found that ladder last time. I sure hope it works. It would be nice to get out of here alive. Yeah, I've already died twice. You did really well up till that, though, and it was just basically because of the, the room you were in. And the game design? Yeah, the computer labs sucked. Hear that, kid? Stay out of computer labs. <laughs> Unless you have a better place to run from scissormen in them. In which case, that's probably fine. Like a box. Yeah. Like, like that's what you should do every time you enter a room. You know, just do a quick, like, look around to think, where could I hide from Scissorman? <laughs> Ladder key. Come on. Yes. A lot safer than Scissorman. You gotta get out if you can. I'm wondering about the oil can, though. Yeah, I don't know. It does feel like you could have used it for something. Uh oh, he's going to scissor him in the ladder. Listen to those sound effects. <laughs> this must be really fun to, like, voice act. I wonder if that even was. Run, Jennifer, run! Oh, thank God you made it out. So now everybody's going to think I'm crazy, because that body's not going to be there when I tell everybody about it. That Probably that not. Oh boy, but you made it though. Way to go, I'm man. Dead. We eventually escaped. I think it'd be fun to see someone like speedrun this just because they know where like everything is. You just see them running around and dodging scissormen and be like, hey, screw this crap. What not? <laughs> Wait, this is rated M, right? Uh, maybe. We haven't even solved the last case yet, and now. Another mass murder? Yeah, it's rated M. Why can't they swear in it? And you're saying that the murderer is a... monster? Um, duh. <laughs> I can already see tonight's headlines. Crazy woman. Scissorman is back. Well, whether he exists or not, you should go home now. <laughs> and rest. So yeah. That's what I was trying to do last night. We posted a policeman outside your house, so you'll be totally safe. You know what happened last time? You had a policeman outside. <laughs> That's assistant inspector. Mm -hmm. I'll get my title right. Nobody ever gets my title right. Do I? Oh. I think that's Helen. Yep. Jennifer. Helen. Jennifer. Helen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I heard that teach. Yeah. Anyway, blah, 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 blah. Stuff, and let's destroy him. Some way to him. destroy him. We can do it! Yes, we're strong, powerful women. <laughs> uh, oh, also, since we took that break between episodes, I actually did find out that there is, in fact, a prequel to this game that only came out in Japan for SNES. Yeah, I, I didn't know about that one. There's also an, uh, one for the PlayStation 2, a sequel, oh. Clock Tower 3. I see. 
I'm guessing going back to my place is that's what I was. Yeah, I think that was that was the implication. <laughs> but I bet my house is surrounded by supporters. I guess I shouldn't go home for a while yet. Oh, I'll go to Police Street. That sounds like a. I will go see the inspector. That sounds like a good place to go. Police Street. <laughs> Watch as there's no police there. It's like Crime Central in this area. <laughs> it's just inappropriately named. Like, just straight out uh, mm -hmm. Saints Row. Oh, you're still here. You should go oh. home before it gets dark. Oh, it's just this place. Don't forget your key. be funny if he's like, here's your key. It's like, wait, I had to talk to this guy to get my key. Why did he send me home without my key? I move fast. I wonder what Nolan is doing. He was, oh, was kind of cute. Was that the reporter guy yeah. who was totally flirting with you? Yeah, and took, also took wanted to report? Date. Oh, that's right. And it was after that that you got chased by Scissorman. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the, that's the cameraman guy. Yep. I remember doing his voice. I'm not going to talk to you. I'm going to talk to this couch. <laughs> or this window. I guess I can only talk to him. Excuse me. Where's my boyfriend? Hey, you're Jennifer. Yeah, where's my boyfriend? Nolan. He just went to look for you. He's worried about you. He should be. <laughs> hey, he should be back in a bit, as long as Scissorman doesn't get him. But uh, I don't think he should wait here. I mean, I'm, I kill people. <laughs> well, I mean, you're, you're hot stepping again. <laughs> uh, the other uh, reporters find you, they'll probably ask you out on dates. <laughs> oh, cows come home. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I guess I'll inconvenience myself and leave. Oh, the back door open for you, so try not to uh, be seen when you come in. Arigato. <laughs> <laughs> what, is she Japanese? I mean. Who knows? <laughs> there was another one, um... There's another Japanese game that I wanted to play. Mm -hmm. That was Japan only. It's called uh, Sweet Home. Hmm. And it was the original basis for the Resident Evil series. Hmm. And it was like an RPG adventure story for the S for the NES. <laughs> basis for Resident Evil on the yeah, NES. Yeah, it was a massive horror one too. Holy crap! It's hard to imagine an NES I know. horror game. Uh, but it was like something about like you had different members who could do different things like one was unlocking things and like one could like speak with the dead hmm and it was actually based also based off of like a uh there's no reason to go to the library a, a japanese um movie i guess the university research building is the only place to go to i mean i was i'm not sure i'd go back here after last night yeah but yeah, there's this Japanese movie also called Sweet Home, which the game was based off of. Huh. And it was like a horror movie. Have you when seen I, it? Uh, I haven't. I've been looking for it. I see. Would you be out for watching that one? Uh, I don't know. There's a uh, sweet JRPG based off of it, maybe. <laughs> well, I, I, I could definitely show you the video that I learned about it from. Hold on, there's, there's plot. They found at the scene of the clock tower murder... Oh, wait, what? The, talking about a statue. Statue, yeah. I can't find it anywhere. Oh, Scissor Oh, the, the statue it. that uh, the professor had that one guy take to get identified. Yeah. And Professor Barton was called away on some police... That's right, I have to double talk to him sometimes. That's bull. You want to voice Jennifer? No. So we can have a conversation? Yes, I found some telephone numbers on the professor's desk. One for the library and one for a man. Named Rick. Uh, what about Marty? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about Rick. Uh, he did mention to me that he would like to get an expert opinion of the statue. I don't know who this Rick person is, though. He's an old drunkard who runs around with a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'll go to the library to see Mr. Sullivan. The statue's there. I've got to get it. I want anything and everything relating to Scissorman. Yeah. <laughs> I'll find out who this work person is. I'll check the bars. Oh, maybe Nolan knows something about him. 
Jennifer, I just Ellen. want to see your boyfriend again. Who is Nolan? Uh, uh I, got, I better go. <laughs> so why, why is like a is she single, dating at a time like this? A single man's name is that like register with like girls? Maybe like, they don't know. It's like just say like. Yeah, I'll ask Matt if they knew yeah. about it. Is my it, friend talking to a boy? <laughs> it's like, who's Matt? It's like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Just some guy I met? We only oh, went hey. out on one date. Jennifer. <laughs> oh, that's right. You gave him a really nerdy voice. The police didn't want me to tell me too much. So I had a hard time finding you. Talk to you again. Is there anything I can do? Actually, yes, there is. Do you know a man named Rick? <laughs> I think he's involved with the clock tower case. Can you imagine if, like... I was just going to interview him. Really? Yes, he told me to go get a bunch of alcohol. <laughs> and then I ran into somebody that happened to know. I thought I'd go ask him what he knew about the Barros family. What about him? Well, Professor Barton thought he might have given statue to him. You mean the one that they found at the scene of the crime murder? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, I want every little clue relating to this case, even though I was attacked last night. Okay, I should go get the statue from him? Alright, I'll go to him and get it. <laughs> well... <laughs> Do you want to ask Nolan? Nolan what? To go get the statue for you. Absolutely. Oh. I got a double... Oh, I, I think, guess it's I just in just case. The, I think that was it's the like, continue cause they thing. Because they were so close. Yeah. I, I Well, I think what happened is that that was like the continue message thing, and then up there's the yes-no buttons. The sooner I do it, the better, yeah? I'll go now. I was just thinking what would happen if you showed Rick, like, a freaking... Scissorman. statue thing and you're like no it's related to some like psychopathic you know freaking uh teleporting mysterious magical murder person uh oh I'm starting scenario 2 uh oh he'd probably be like mm, magic's just a freaking fictional thing magic's like, a lie <laughs> magic's a lie Morty I've been to a thousand dimensions Morty and magic everywhere is just some bullcrap science it's all really science in the end Morty <laughs> it's all science in the end there's no magic magic's a lie all right, well, we'll talk to Rick. Hold on, before you do anything, we'll talk to Rick next it's time. It's automatic. I'm not oh, doing crap. It. I can't do anything. Uh, we'll be right back.